Michaela, congratulations on this win in the quarterfinals of the tournament. Um, just, I guess, to begin, how is your team feeling here in the postseason in this win or go home situation? Uh, we're feeling good. We know that UCF is unbelievable this year, but we know we got to come out hard and strong to be able to compete with them. But I think we can do it if we bring this mentality. I think, I think we can do anything. It seemed like the counterattack was working really well for you all tonight. It just seemed to be really, really fast and just really on top of things. Is that something that you normally practice, and was that the game plan heading into today? Um, well, they play a really high line, so like we kind of took advantage of that. Um, we have really fast forwards, so like we really had to take advantage of that, which helped us with like the crosses and then like finishing. And yeah. So you met UCF. It was in fact your last loss of the season, right here on this field, a five to nothing loss. As a player, how does that sit with you? Is it still pretty fresh in your mind, even though it was a month ago? Yes. I mean, it was a real tough game. We shouldn't have lost five nothing. They were very good, but like I think we can come out a lot stronger if we just have like the better mentality and knowing that we can like beat them then I think we're going to come out and we can beat them. All right, well, good luck in the semis. We'll Thank see you Friday. You. Thank you. All right, Coach, well, before the game, you told me, I asked how your team was feeling here in the postseason, and you told me to ask you after kickoff. Uh, we're at the end of the game, a 3-1 to one win for your program here in the quarterfinals. Um, how do you think your team is feeling, and how did they get the postseason started tonight? Yeah, no, obviously happy. Like I said, you know, these, you know first, UConn's a very good team. Um, and to get a win in this conference, whether it's regular season, conference tournament, um, you take it. And, uh, you know, I was happy with the performance. It's never perfect. Look, I'm a coach. You want everything to be perfect. But the energy, the heart was there. Um, you know, I had to, uh, quote, unquote, get on a few kids at halftime to lift it. And they responded, you know. And I think that was the difference in the second half to get the two goals. So, um, you know, happy to be moving on. Looking forward to another shot at Central Florida. Yeah, you mentioned it. Um, you last met them October 1st, exactly a month ago, and that was your last loss of the season. So a lot has happened since then. You guys have had a pretty good year since then. But what did your team learn from that game, a 5 to nothing loss? Michaela said that wasn't that score wasn't indicative of the game. But what did your team learn about themselves that time around? Oh, I think that all the, all the details make the difference. You know, it's the fine, fine details. And, um, you know, it was, it was, listen, Central Florida is good. They did. They beat us. They deserved that. Uh, whether the score is fair or not, yes, we had chances, but um, we're just going to have to be at our best. Uh, and this is the time of season where everybody needs to be at their best. So if we're at our best, we'll have a chance, but we're up against a very good team. All right, Coach, we'll see you Friday. Thank you. Thank you.